So to make beans and toast, you need two things, toast and beans. Uh, so I have two kinds of bread that I didn't know which one to use today. So I'm gonna try out both and see which one is better. One is a brioche, this is a brioche and this is a sourdough. Uh, sourdoughs are more sturdier and brioche usually kind of falls apart uh, when you put toppings. But I wanna see which one holds uh, the beans better. Now the second thing we need is beans uh, to make beans and toast. Unfortunately, I don't have any beans. I don't have any baked bean can. Um, usually, you know, I have the Heinz beans. Don't have that. I also don't have any frozen chole, but I found uh, the Trader Joe's Chana Masala that I usually keep in the freezer for emergencies. It's pretty decent. It's not great, um, not like compared to homemade chole, but uh, in a pinch, it is a great option. Uh, so I decided why not, I have toast, I have beans, why not make beans and toast Indian style? So again, if you have the beans handy, it takes five minutes. Uh, if you have frozen chole handy, again, it should not take more than five minutes to make it so let's see how that goes these are frozen i just took it out of the freezer so i'm going to put it in the microwave to cook while i toast my bread the beans are cooking in the microwave uh, according to package direction about three minutes and i have my pan nice and medium heat i'm going to add a little butter and then uh, toast the bread so I've added a very small, very thin slice of butter. Uh, this is salted butter. I think salted butter goes really well with uh, bread. I love the taste, that little saltiness. And I'm gonna take my sourdough. Just kind of move it around so all that butter goes. If I had more patience, I would uh, probably soften the butter, but I really just want to make it quick. So just have the butter melted in the pan, and then I'm going to put the brioche slice and let that get all nice and toasty. So overall, the process from when I took the chole out of the freezer to now it's been like less than two minutes okay the brioche is nice and toasted i think the brioche takes very little time to get toasted because of all the butter content the sourdough is taking a little bit of time so i want that to be nice and toasty as well but the brioche is beautiful this is what you want like golden color Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of keep it aside so it doesn't get burned and give sourdough with the love that it won't needs. Put it right in the middle. And here's the chole that just came out of the microwave oven. I did it about three minutes. And now let's see how they are. Okay, so the chole looks nice and done. And that's all you need to make beans and toast. But I'm going to take an extra step and uh, cook it just a little bit differently to add some extra taste. So what I'm going to do is keep the bread in the pan right here and then put the chole on top while it's being warmed up. So here my this bread is nice and toasty and I'm gonna just put the chole on top. So my beans and toast Indian style is ready. I just uh, kept the bread in the pan. The bread is nice and golden. And I just took the microwave chole and put it on top. I'm gonna turn the gas off and they're ready. In less than five minutes, if you have bread and if you have any kind of beans, um, this one is the Indian chole that I had frozen. Uh, you could have 
you know, this one was from Trader Joe's, but if I had my own, generally I have my own. I make a big batch and uh, then I freeze it in small portions so I can um, eat it whenever I want. Normally I eat with like a roti or a naan, but today I'm trying it with toast. So let's see how that turns out. I'm going to do a couple extra things. One, I'm going to add some raw uh, red onions. So I like uh, onion taste. And then because I love spicy food and the Trader Joe's uh, chole is not spicy, I'm going to add some chopped green chilies. Uh, if I was uh, using my homemade, I would probably not add it because my homemade chole is very spicy. But this one is not spicy at all, so I'm adding that extra chili. And that's done. Five to six minutes, a nice, nutritious uh, snack of beans and toast Indian style. All right, I just plated it, and now they're ready to eat. Just looking at the way this is, it's very soft. If I uh, try to pick it up, it's going to fall apart. I think I'm going to need a fork and a knife with that. This one is pretty sturdy. I can hold it. Uh, so this holds it really well. So let's see how it tastes with the sourdough. Wow, this is such a great taste. I didn't think that chole with bread would taste as good. The sourdough is a really nice sturdy bread. It tastes really good. I'm gonna give the other one a try and then compare. So the brioche has kind of fallen apart because the juices have soaked in, so it's become much softer, uh, even though it was grilled on both sides. Uh, so I was not able to pick it up, but I'm using a fork to eat it, and let's see how that tastes. Oh, I really like the brioche. The bread has a slight sweetness to it, and the buttery taste really shines through. And combined with chole, it tastes amazing. So even though I was not able to pick it up and eat it, it tastes so good. I definitely prefer the brioche. The sourdough bread is a great bread, but I think this combination is better made on a brioche bread. So sometimes you discover new things uh, because you, you know, out of necessity. And this is one of those things for me. I wanted a quick beans with toast because I've been reading a lot about it. Um, wow, so the brioche tastes really good. Uh, with the chole, the butteriness of the brioche and the sweetness of the brioche really um, combines really well with the, the chole. Uh, sourdough is great, uh, it's a great bread, but I don't know if I like the combination as much because the sourdough uh, bread kind of overtakes the delicate uh, nature of the chole. So I really love the combination of the brioche and chole. So sometimes just out of necessity, you tend to try new things. And here I tried uh, to replicate the English beans on toast uh, and ended up making chole on toast and Indian style, and it tastes amazing. I think this might be my go-to snack from now on.